OG one from Ruth. OG 1.1. Yeah. Alright, so. Cool. Hello, uh, my name is Cormac. I'm an engineering manager at Intercom, and this talk is called Stay in Line. Um, so I'm going to go over because I'm a manager and make you listen to what I have to say, obviously. But, uh, no, but really, okay, Stay in Line, what does that mean for me as a manager? So I kind of think like. The, the core responsibility of an engineer manager is to make sure that basically their teams are on the same page all the time when it comes to sort of building, operating, and evolving like the different software products, services that they own. So today I'm going to talk about two things in that sphere. There's lots more, but just two things because it's a lightning talk and I could spend hours. Uh, but the first thing is around building like a shared understanding of the software systems that we own, and the second one is around building like an operational awareness on your team. So before I dig into them, I'm going to take you on a journey back in time to about a year and a half ago. So at that point in Intercom, I was working on a team called Team Acquire. I was working on the Intercom Messenger. So that's the little chat widget you see on like tens of thousands of sites, sites across the web. Um, it's a JavaScript application and. For me, this is kind of something I was really used to. I've been like, building and managing and maintaining like web applications for going on 10 years now. So this is kind of well within my comfort zone. So then my manager came to me and asked me if I'd move to Team Delivery. So Team Delivery is a much more sort of infrastructurally focused scheme, in some word. Um, so like we manage fleets of servers and pipelines and things like that. So it was like a pretty big change for me. To kind of add to that, the rest of the team at the time had been on average about like three months at Intercom. And we had like this really large, kind of complex distributed system to manage. So kind of face of that challenge, what did, what did I do next? So, I'd like to build a shared understanding of my software system. It's as if it's the first time. So, uh, so let's backtrack. So what, what are these systems? So the systems are like the things we build that deliver values to our, value to our customers. And as a manager of a system, you know, I need to know how they work to be able to like, understand how to you know, evolve and improve those systems. And also sometimes within the team and outside of the team to lead and like, referee discussions on the system. So the system in particular that I'm talking about is the delivery pipeline. So it's made up of like 16 EC2 server fleets. There's 34 SQS queues and it interacts with six different um, databases. And the end product of all that is like hundreds of millions of messages delivered by, for our customers to their users every month. So looking at that, how do we get to grips with it? We kind of started with like a single post-it on a whiteboard. And over the course of about a month, it grew into this beauty here. So, um, it's, this is like a comprehensive, pretty much a comprehensive map of our delivery system. So there's kind of two delivery systems in there. I'm not gonna dig into it in much detail, but we're actually really proud of it. It's behind where we sit. We kind of refer to it regularly and like at the time when we started building it, the system itself was kind of new and we were experiencing a lot of pager pain. So we were getting paged almost every night and it was waking people up a lot. We had a lot of kind of tough operational problems. But by building this map together, we were able in pretty quickly to get on top of them and got to the stage within about like five or six weeks where basically the system just chugged along without us doing anything to it. And that's been the case for about a, about a year now. So. That worked for us. I mean, you guys are generally more kind of front-end focused and there's probably different approaches that will work for you better. What I'd say is like, whether you're looking out after infrastructure systems or if you're looking at like web applications, look to like map out, if, if it's a front-end application, maybe look to map out like the different data flows within your system. But what's really important is that both you and your team like understand what these are so that you can you know, model and improve them. 
So the second thing I wanted to talk about was like our operational awareness. So it's kind of important to know when your software is working and how do you know that your users can use your software software? How do you know when they can't? How do you need how do you know when you need to like drop everything and get in a room and start fixing it? So like when you're a uh, single programmer working on stuff, you have like a single focus, you're looking at one thing, it's easy to kind of stay on top of that. When you're a manager, you need to be this like omnipresent, all-seeing force kind of thing. You need to be able to see everything and be able to spring the team into action when they need to get on top of stuff. So how, how, how do you do that? So for me, one good way is to look at what you manage and try and build like a product and operational Sorry, try to identify your key product and operational metrics and gather them into a single dashboard. So what's important here, and here's the delivery one, is that like it's clearly visible to the team at all times, but you're able to know at a glance if there's something going wrong. So the key here for us, like there's like there's a shit ton of numbers and I'm not <coughs> that, but the key here is red, amber, and green. So at the time when I took this. We'd had some operational difficulties, and you can see the red there, and that kind of tells us we'd had a problem. But if I look left along it, it's all green, so the queues are emptying, and we're kind of on the road to recovery. So, like having this gave the team the confidence to be able to make like pretty drastic changes to the pipeline, knowing that we're going to get like an early warning if things are going wrong. So that's it, really. Those are just two of the things that I use as a manager. There's like a bunch of other stuff, like in keeping a line, so like making sure that you're deciding on goals together, or working on the roadmap together. But all those things, they're kind of for another day and an even longer talk. But uh, thanks for listening. Enjoy the evening.